Hi hookers, it's Lila. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my motherfucking channel. You guys know the drill at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching my most recent videos as always. For today's video, I literally just thought about it like right before I started filming and I was like, oh my god, like I feel like this could be good and give everybody knowledge about a little bit more about my past in a way, kind of. I've had so many things pierced into my fucking body and so many things ripped out of my fucking body and so many things infected. Oh my god, it literally makes that sound like I've gone around. But I promise I don't have vaginal warts or any of that shit. For today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys all about all the piercings that I've had in my entire life. My whole little emo goth stage where I just thought I needed 42 fucking things pierced on my body at once. Surprisingly, not my badge. So if you guys want to see me talk about all the piercings I've had in my little emo stage where I thought it was necessary to have fucking 42 things pierced on my body at once, then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and go ahead and keep on motherfucking watching. So right off the bat, I got my nose pierced when I was literally 16, and I remember sitting in like chemistry or something, and I had texted my dad, and I was like, funny, I'm getting my nose pierced, and he's like, no, you're not. Like, school and God come first. Dead ass, those words came out of his mouth. And I was like, huh? Like... Uh, so I was like, okay, whatever, like, that's funny, that's cute, whatever. I'm 16, I'm gonna do it anyways, my rebellious fuck ass, and so I, not sure how I got to the fucking piercing shop, I went into the piercing shop, and this is one literally back when, like, I still do, but, like, I full on looked like a bowling ball and, like, a hard-boiled egg. So I went to the piercing shop, signed the consent forms and everything, and got a fat fucking needle through my nose, and right afterwards, I was like, oh my god, like, this is permanent, like, what if I hate it, like, blah, blah. but I fucking loved it. My dad, like, was still trying to, like, me no even though I didn't tell him I was going like I literally didn't tell him I was like okay whatever I'm literally like my nose like it's a dot on my nose that you probably won't even notice so I did it anyways and I remember going home and like literally talking to my parents and then me and my dad had to go to this meeting and after the meeting like 25 minute or so drive to the meeting and then on our way home I was like dad did you not notice my nose piercing or what and he was like what and I was like oh no yeah I did it and he was so fuming fucking pissed because I went against his word and like hi dad I'm sorry but I really wanted it and like I still fucking have it even though to this day I think I've had my nose pierced like seven times maybe eight I'm seriously not sure. I think I've had like this nostril four and then this maybe like, two or three. I seriously don't even remember. Half of my life is just like one big fucking blackout. And so, yeah, I've had that. And then summer of like 2016, like I just thought it was such a fun and like cute and quirky idea to like constantly just like get fucked up and just like let's go get period things. And so I was like, fuck it. Like I'm gonna get my septum done, which is in between right here. Comment down below if you guys think I should get it again. I was so fucking scared. I was like, wait, am I actually doing this? What do you mean I'm getting a literal like needle? Going in between like the cartilage of my fucking nose. I was so scared. I was like, I need a fat mics harder and like a couple shots and like a blunt before we even think about this actually going through. So we made all that happen and I went into this piercing shop and I got my fucking septum, which was so fucking cute. It was such a look for such a minute. And for some reason, I still don't have my lobes. Like, huh? And so that leads me to my next piercings, which would be on my fucking ears. I don't really know if you guys can see my ear. I don't know if it's out or not. Like, hello? Right at like the top of like my cartilage. I've gotten my double fucking helix and don't fucking ever get that done if you guys are watching this because I got those done at once like both of them at once and like probably over a year later they still fucking hurt and like those came out when I went to fucking jail the first time because I don't know I guess they thought I was fucking gonna stab myself or like gush myself in my fucking neck with my double helix piercings that I couldn't even touch regardless because they fucking hurt so the popo took those out and so that was finally all right fucking pee to that shit i still don't understand that i had so many fucking piercings and like that was the morning after like this straight guy like dicked me down and then like the next weekend he fucked my best friend like whatever whole different story whole different video i'll try and fucking remember to link it below lord knows my worthless ass but yeah so that was like done with those i was like okay that was a fucking waste of money and then i got my tragus done and if you guys like don't know what that is it's like the little low part like right here i was so fucking scared scared for that and I was kind of high. I sound like such a bad influence. Literally always. I went in and I was like so fucking scared. I was like this is gonna like hurt. Like this is like a weird like part of like your ear you know. And so I remember him piercing it and I genuinely like felt it in my fucking jaw and like I heard a pop. Like it was like a I'm such a traumatic ass bitch. It seriously wasn't like that bad. It was just like such a weird feeling and such a weird sound. Do you know what I mean? That lasted a good month. <laughs> And then I just remember like getting dicked down by somebody. Literally, like I woke up the next day and I was like, you're seriously fucking 
head thing. It was literally like ripped out. Like literally there was like a line and like a scar for like the longest time. Like I don't know how, when, like somebody must have fucking jumped me in my sleep. Like congratulations bitch. Somebody finally jumped me. <laughs> Even though that already happened in the 8th grade. Mama got thrown against a locker and then crawled into the nurse's office. But yeah, so there is that, and then I got like the vertical tragus, which like obviously the tragus goes through your ear. I'll put up a picture of the vertical one. So yeah, I got that done, and honestly, I loved that. Like, it, I thought it was such a look, and still to this day, like, I kind of want it, like, because it was, like, the industrial bar, like, which is, like, the fat bar in here. Like, it was the industrial bar, but, like, in your tragus, which was, like, such, like, a goth thing of me kind of to do. Like, I don't know why I thought it was, like, such a look, but, like, it was, bitch. And then, like, a few people after me got it, I was like, okay, like, you're creative, you boring-ass bitch. Like, find something else on Pinterest. Go pierce your clip, bitch. And so then, after that, I was like, you know what, like, fuck it, let's go full on fucking like screamo oh Kylie's so hot I'm pissed fucking pissed and so then I was like you know what I'm gonna go full on fucking what are those bands that just like preach about fucking like death like hardcore goth people in like 6th grade and you were like terrified of them that they were trying to like stab you with a spork at the lunch table and I was like okay you know what fuck it and me and my best friend were kind of drunk like we laid out all day and we were like let's go get our industrials and that is the fat fucking bar that goes like ear to ear like Miley had it Kylie had it oh we love a rhyming sister yeah they both had it so that's why I was like okay like it's kind of a look and I went and got it fucking done and I wish I could find like, me like pulls out my phone like hoping to maybe find this video I don't know if I can find it though and so yeah I went to the fucking piercing shop and I was like bitch I want a fucking industrial bar he's like okay like brace yourself and I was like oh good like can't wait for this I literally was sitting there and like you hear seriously was like the wimpiest but like loudest like screech for like 20 seconds and then I was like <gasps> Full on trying to shove a fucking baby out of my puss, like ready for fucking labor, like ready to go, like baby out of my badge, like blood everywhere, like literally dripping down my fucking face, like it was dead ass intense. And I was like, oh my god, like that felt like that was getting a dick up my ass. And I remember the piercer going, holy fuck, we went from ear pain to anal. And I was like, that's how it goes, baby. This shit hurts. Dick up my ass, nothing. <laughs> so yeah, that one was fucking painful. And then that one was taken out in fucking jail the first time too. But I loved that one, so I ended up getting it re pierced, which was like honestly so easy my fucking camera died again <laughs> this fucking camera battery almost has as much energy literally as like me at like a job so the industrial i got a fucking gin and then i just remember my mom being so fucking mad she was like no like you should stop because like i was a broke bitch and like complaining about money but then like went and got piercings it was like fun so i remember like sitting on the couch and she was like why like aren't you looking at me and i was like okay and i like turned my head and there was just, like a fat fucking bar in my ear and she was like oh jesus christ like about to get an exorcist up in this bitch so that was that one and then yeah my nipples fell out while i was having sex blah 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 and then i think that's like close to all of them surprisingly the eyebrow or any whack shit was it oh my god i forgot about my most favorites to this fucking day would be my web which is under your tongue off of a picture with me and my best friend Paige <laughs> got them done together and I just remember being so drunk we were laying out all day this was like literally my summer like I dropped two grand like went through all of my graduation money on my piercings and alcohol and just like not having a job like 18 year old alcoholic who so yeah we went and got them and I remember being just so fucking nervous because that was right when I moved out of my house for the summer because like my parents wanted me to work 40 hours a week and I was just like no hard fucking pass bitch mom was trying to black out by noon so like a week after I had moved out they wanted to like get lunch with me and the day before I was getting my web done and I was like oh my fucking god am I even gonna be able to like shove hungry hobo down my fucking throat with like a bar under my tongue but I did and it was fine they like found out later on because they were like what the fuck's under your tongue and I was like I just like stopped giving a fuck so long ago and like they've learned to just like not give a fuck at this point so then after my web I was like why don't I have my belly button done like I feel like my belly's trash and I need jewelry like anything ugly just like put bling on it and it'll be fine so I went and got my fucking belly button pierced and I remember like thinking it was like so cool and like such a big deal because my sister had gotten hers done like three or four years prior or something like when she was in high school and my cousins like all called her trampy <laughs> and like my parents were like you can either like be grounded for a month because she asked them and like they said no and she did it anyways and then so I did that with my nose and then I did that with my belly button and I just like didn't get in fucking trouble like sorry Taylor yeah so I got my belly button pierced and I just remember like wearing a crop top home and I was like mom look look at my new jewelry she was just like oh my god you got another one bitch like what's next like are there any that I can't see and I was like like what and she's like like your privates and I was like 
Well, no, yeah, I have my tits done too, mom. <laughs> but those were ripped out, like, when I was, like, having sex or something. And so then, like, six months after I literally hadn't had them, me and Sid and, like, my best friend Maggie were all at Sid's. We were, like, a couple marks deep, a couple, okay, I was, like, 30 shots deep. But who am I kidding? I was borderline alcohol poisoning. And I was like, you know what? Like, Sid has a piercing kit. Like, let's just fucking do it. And so they, like, fucking strapped me down and, like, literally had, like, a full-on fucking piercing moment. Ready? One, two, and then, like, Sid. Like, put it through and she was just like but eventually she ended up fucking piercing my goddamn nipple paying for piercings who like my best friend did mine sucks boo that is pretty much my little piercing diaries moment and now all i have is my nose nipples and my belly button oh in my web fuck has to like examine my whole ass body because i don't even know what i have anymore <laughs> but i just figured that somebody had asked me about my piercings and i was like i just need to like tell these bitches what the fuck is up and i think that if you want a piercing go ahead and fucking do it regardless of what anyone thinks or this but anyone wants or thinks you should do because it one it's literally temporary like you can take it out and like that shit closes two it's like you're young like why the fuck not three it's your life your body do whatever the fuck you want and fuck what anyone else thinks bitch fuck your parents fuck all your friends or your boyfriend i've had so many people be like oh i want to get my nose done but like my boyfriend doesn't think i should like he thinks i'll look bad with it it's like, and your boyfriend sucks fucking ass if he doesn't think you're still a hot fucking bad bitch with or without a fucking bar through your ear with or without a little dangly moment then fuck you tom them to go eat shit and like sit on your fucking strap on dildo i don't give a fuck what anyone else has to say and that's the fucking tea if you guys enjoyed this little random video about my piercings then don't forget to give this video a big ass motherfucking thumbs up as always and subscribe down below and until next time you guys stay true